Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's a great day and hope you're having a great day too. Today's video, oh my god, I am so happy to film for, but also so surprised on. And also, forget this, I just got off work. This is how fresh this shit is. I haven't had time to get the camera to look everything nice. We got just the two lights and we got my little like no laptop right here for some info. But if you guys remember, about a month ago, I uploaded the Could They and Should They episode one. And you guys really loved it. It did so, so, so well view-wise and even response-wise. You guys really loved that video. And I want to do more videos like that. Um, but then I just haven't had time to film others. And I just didn't want to film the ones that I had ideas for. But this, af like not even this afternoon, like a couple hours ago, as I'm filming this, four hours ago, I... I saw my in I saw my Instagram that a certain person has posted. You guys won't believe who it is. It is none other than Coral motherfucking Horal himself. He uploaded, not uploaded, he posted something on his Instagram. He has been inactive on social media for about a couple of years now. He has been inactive on his Instagram since 2018. And he's been inactive on YouTube for uh, six years now. And today, he uploaded a pic, and I'm going to read it to you guys. Okay, so, and I just want to give a quick little rundown on people that don't know Coral didn't grow up with him and did not know the drama. So, about six years ago, Coral was on Twitter, and he, um, fuck. So, basically, six years ago, Coral said some really mean things to a fan at the time, and the fan had every right to be upset about what the Coral was saying because she had spent her own money. She was like above the typical age range for people who watch the pals. They're typically pretty young. This girl, I think, was 16. She was in high school, still loving their videos. And Coral called her the infamous tweet cringe. And that made the girl get a lot of hate, a lot of backlash for everything. And made her feel very um now i don't now this part could be very i could be wrong about but could i think the whole experience made her feel really suicidal and made her feel really unmotivated to live safety rules made her feel very suicidal and that was not good and the pals dennis sketch coral and <laughs> dennis sketch sub and alex all collectively agreed to kick him out of the group. Now, this was six years ago. Coral has not made a response. It. Coral has not made a response to this, but he did respond at the time with saying that they were all not real friends and they only needed each other when they wanted to record. Which you know is really you know hurtful and making digging your own grave a little bit. But that's just a little bit of the backstory of what happened and why it was so important. The Pals did also disband after that video um, because they just did not want to keep recording with each other. Not that they didn't want to keep recording, but like they didn't really think it was still good. It, it was a good idea to keep recording with each other just because of, you know, that whole scandal. And yeah, the channel has three million fucking subscribers. They all have gone their own ways. They're all still friends with each other just, and they collaborate with each other here and there. But that whole incident made them stop recording as a group together because of all the backlash, you know? So that's a little bit of backstory, a little bit of a brief history, if you will, on what happened, why it happened, and what happened after that, okay? So let's get to present day. And forgive me because I'm going to be looking down at this. So it says, hello, everyone. I want to say that I am so grateful for everything you've given me being a YouTube creator being a YouTube creator was my dream as a kid, and I got to do it because of all of you, and I'm beyond grateful for all the love and support throughout my journey online. I loved making videos. I was privileged to be a role model for so many people. So it's sad that I missed so it's sad that I misused my power and position to be rude to someone. I was really rude to Tiff, which is the girl that he was rude to, and I should have never and okay, and I should have been so much kinder. As I get older, most of my regrets came from not being kind enough. So to everyone I was rude to, I am sorry from the bottom of my heart. And kindness is one of my primary considerations in life now. I'm sorry, Tiff. I should have been so much kinder to you. I've grown up so much in the last six years. 
more than anything, I want to be a kind person, serve my community, and be an actual role model for young people. It's hard to learn that one day... It's hard to learn that one bad day can change people's perspective on you forever. But it was a needed lesson for my growth, and I'm thankful that people held me accountable. Thank you. Keep holding people accountable. However, there are so many lies about me. I've no... I've had no input on my narrative or who I am. It's crazy what people have started saying or what websites say online says what or what websites online say. Some things online are not valid or true. I was so hurt by what people were saying about me, about the, all the millions of people, and I shut down and left the internet. I wish I could have been able to speak then, but I was so impacted that I was unable to. Again, I am so grateful and blessed for everyone and everything that happened to me. On the other hand, I am truly so sorry for misusing my power and misusing my power to be rude to someone. I am so against that. I have so much love for all of you. Thank you. And then obviously we have the picture. Now, as I'm recording this, this is still very much active on his Instagram. The photo is still active. The response is still active. And I have to be honest, when I read this, and I'm going to be a little, I'm going to be upfront. I'm going to be a little bit biased about this. But when I read this, I thought it was a good apology. You know, it addressed the fact, it addressed, you know, it addressed the issue. It addressed the statement. It addressed how he up and left. He addressed that he should have been a better person. He should have been, he should have handled the responsibility a lot better. He should have handled the backlash a lot better than he did. And I really like that, you know? And it's also been, you know, six years, so he's obviously not the same person as he was back then, allegedly. And reading this, it does sound sincere. You know, it does sound like he actually means what he's saying. Because a lot of people will make an apology and, you know, not really mean it, you know? And I really like this apology just because it does address everything. It does, you know he does apologize to everybody and addresses everything and he does want to say that you know not everything that was online was true which i do like <clears throat> because when people do that i think it's also like it brings a little bit of humanity to them you know now obviously i can't say or you know speak on tiff's half you know tiff's half tish is fuck how did you say the fucking name i don't know obviously i can't speak on her half because obviously she went through the situation she you know she has every right to still be mad or, you know, forgiven this guy. Do I think now personally, what do I think is next? Because personally for me, I want to see him come back to YouTube. Obviously, he doesn't have his old YouTube channel anymore, uh, which fucking sucks again, you know, for uh, and oh, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. Which obviously does not obviously he doesn't have his old channel, like which obviously sucks, but, you know, he has his Instagram that has 10,000 followers on it, which is damn, it's a lot of motherfucking people. It's, been, it's a lot. That's a lot of people for like six years of inactivity. Which so I'm gonna give him that. But I do want him to come back to YouTube. I do want him to make a comeback video because obviously the response on Instagram, you know, helps clear up a bunch of people's, you know, ideas like and that he actually did respond. I do wish though that he does it a YouTube apology, you know, address everything that he that he said in the Instagram one, and you know maybe be a little bit clearer on certain aspects. Do I think he's going to come back to YouTube? Probably not. But would it be cool if he did? Yes, it would be. But, dude, all this shit happened in, like, the last four hours. And I was so just, like, I don't know. Like, it's up to you guys whether you guys want to support him or not. It's up to you guys if you want to, like, watch his content again, if he decides to upload. But I do want to ask, would you guys want to watch Coral again? You know, obviously, it's been six years. You know, there's people who have re-uploaded some of his videos and everything. Oh, this is a bit but would you watch Coral nowadays? I think depending on the content. And do you want to see... A, <laughs> would you watch Coral nowadays? And would you want to see a Pals reunion video? Also, I'm going to be so transparent. I don't think they're going to forgive him. I think they might privately. I think he might reach out to them. However, you know, obviously they have also every right to stay mad at him if they want to. Or just, you know, accept his apology but don't, you know, want to be his friend anymore. Because, again, this has been six years where people can change, people can outgrow old friendships, and, you know, maybe sooner or later they would have outgrown each other. But, you know, I want to see and hear about what you guys think down in the comments below. Okay, so this is an update. Um, this is actually going to be cut into the video way later, so if you already watched this video, sorry, I just want to add it in. 
Um, so pretty much, Coral is posting on Instagram, you know, having fun, living his life, and I commented something under his channel asking, uh, not under his channel, under his account, asking, hey, are you going to come back to YouTube, make a new YouTube account? Um, just to like, see, ask a question, and he commented it and responded, no, this is the comment right here. So that pretty much explains Coral is not coming back to YouTube, at least for the time being. Could be wrong, maybe in a couple, maybe in a while he might change his mind, I don't know. But that is this last minute fucking update, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and sorry about this interruption. Because this was a crazy afternoon. This was a crazy fucking afternoon. So again, should they or could they? Should he come back? Again, being biased, I think so. Could he? Potentially? Potentially. I think potentially he could come back. But does he... Do I think he wants to? Probably not. I think he probably realistically only came on to, you know, apologize and let that be that. Like, honestly. I think he really just wanted to at least come back and apologize about everything, you know? Which I think... You know, it is, that's his choice. That's his, if, if that is, that's his choice. And, you know, he has every right to that. So if you guys do enjoy this video, please, and you want to see, if you guys do it now, if you, now, if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more from me like this, similar, now, if you did enjoy this video and you want to see similar content to this, leave a like down in the comment. Oh my God. Now, if you want to see more content just like this, comment down below, like, share, and subscribe, and tell me what you want to see because I really love doing these little sit-down talks with you guys. It's really fun, and it's super just relaxing and chilling. And also, comment down below, like, what, do you what are your thoughts on Coral? Do you want to see him collab with the Pals again? Do you think he's going to make a comeback? Let me know all down in the comments below. I love you guys so, so, so much, and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!